Right, I'm just going to start. So, the purpose of this live is um, to do a simple stamping card using the new painted seasons uh, free stamp set that you get if you spend 90 bucks. And um, we're just going to use three, three different colours of ink for this one, which are Crumb Cake, Early Espresso and um, Mossy Meadow, which I have two of now because a silly, silly me ordered it last time with my order and then the time before and I forgot. So I've got two of them, but I like it, so that's fine. Right, so let me get them out the road and I'll get my Stamping Up Trimmer. Oh, it's a wee bit manky, sorry. Right, I'm just going to get a bit of... We're going to make two cards out of the one piece of paper, so I'm just going to cut this down to... Let me see... 11 and a half, which is what most demonstrators cut their card down to. And then they get two out of sheet. So... Oh, that's good, yeah, you probably will get it tomorrow. And I've put on the envelope, please do not bend. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm, I've cut it down to 11 and a half inches, the thick wisp of white, and then I'm cutting it down to 4 and 1 eighth of an inch. And then I'm going to score at 5 and 3 quarters on both the cards. Hi, Elaine. <laughs> so that's one card done. Scoring the other one. Du -du -du -du. I don't know if this is a good time of day to do a live, but how many's on? There's four, so that's great. Right, now, um, my stamping layer is going to be an eighth of an inch smaller than the dimension of this card. So it's going to be five and one, two, three, four. Five and five eighths by four inches, which is an eighth of an inch shorter. So I'm cutting a normal piece of... Whisper white down to four inches by five and five eighths. The now, like so, uh, five and five eighths. That's great. That's my husband coming. Hang on a second, so I tell him to be quiet. I'm doing the So, that's that. And I need a bit of Mossy Meadow, Mossy Meadow card stock for the other card. So I'm going to cut that down to 11 and a half. Like so. Oops. Oops I don't know. Right, four and one eight. So I'll get four cards out of this, but I'm just going to make two um, for the purpose of this live. So let me um, score this Mossy Meadow down to four and, no, five and five eighths. Maybe now it's not five. I'm scoring it five and three quarters just to go on me. Perfect. La 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 la. So what's everybody up to this weekend? Other than crafting. <laughs> Anything exciting? Right, I'm just going to get my stamparatus. Because I want to um, secure my stamping layer like so. That clatter you heard earlier, that was me dropping it. One of the magnets and it stuck to the leg of my desk. Right, so let me get my trimmer out the road. So, stamp set. Yeah, painty season. So we've got the pine cone. We've got a fern type leaf. A three-leafed bit of foliage and a smaller bit of foliage. 
And then we have the, this little cluster of stairs. I think there's seven of them. I thought these were flowers to start with, but I think they're actually top view. Uh, top views of um, acorns, most definitely. So if I do call them flowers, I do apologise, but they're the top view of acorns. So it took me a wee while to figure that out, you see. Right, so I'm going to do this card first, and then I'm going to do a different one. So, okay. Right, so let me get the... Um, I'm going to start off with the darkest colour, which is a mossy meadow. And I'm just going to randomly stamp the um, the fern around my stamping layer. So I'll just put that to this side. And I know you can't see it, but... And it really doesn't matter which way you're putting this. Like I say, random's random, so... The more it looks like you didn't mean to stamp it, the way it turns out, the better. And if you do it, um, with a wee rhythm, it's quite easy. Like so. Someone's at the door. Why does everybody come to the door when I'm trying to do a live? Little Ricky's friends have already said he's to get his tea, so they're obviously just being impatient. Right, so I've just stamped some of the. Um, I'll be cleaning out rabbits and guinea pigs. Try to get a couple of videos done. Oh, fab. Fab, fab. <laughs> guinea pigs are cute, Karen. Right, my next stamp I'm going to do is the um, three leafed foliage, is that what you call it? Put it mostly made away. I want to use Early Express for this one. I'm just doing it randomly again. These stamps are lovely. They're quite realistic looking. So you just want to sporadically pop them over your card like so. So I'll get rid of that dirty stamp. And the last one I want to use is a smaller leaf section. Like so. And I am going to use um, crumb cake. Now where's my... I did have a cloth here because I keep um, getting ink all over my fingers. I'm so clumsy. Right, so I'm going with the crumb cake now. And once I've done it, once I've done this tutorial, I'm going to go and run a hot bath, and I might even have a cheeky little cider in it. <laughs> I can only have one though because I have my craft class tomorrow. Right there we go. So look how easy it is to make a lovely um, printed type stamping layer. Looks really professional, doesn't it? Right, so that's the first one. Now I am going to use... Let me see, what will I use for the second one? Let me get my other stamp in there. I will use the pine cone because I like the pine cone. How many um, rabbits and guinea pigs do you have, Karen? Guinea pigs are so cute, so are rabbits. But with two German Shepherds, um, that's plenty for me. Right, I'm just using um, the crumb cake and stamping on this. E e it's not an acorn, which call it a pine cone. Randomly on the card again, like so. Like I say, it doesn't matter where they go, but. As long as you take it over the edge and whatnot as well. Right, so that's this one. Now, what will I put with this? Um, I think I'll use the three leaf again, this one. And I'm going to use the Early Expresso. So, 
that's my oldest son coming in from high school now. So I'm just uh, popping these anywhere. I'm going to turn it around a wee bit. I'm going to go for a bath too, but with a bottle of cava. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know, I just I like a wee cider in the bath. I'm not really a wine person. <laughs> Not really a wine person. Two rabbits, five guinea pigs, and an elderly rat. Used to have loads more. Oh, rats are cute as well. The only thing I don't like about rats is their big long tail. But um, they've got cute wee faces. Right, so um, this is looking a bit plain. I think it needs something else. So I'm going to use a little cluster of stars. And I am going to use Mossy Meadow for this. And that'll um, coordinate well with the Mossy Meadow um, card base. I'm not boring you guys, am I? <laughs> I'm drinking the wine because it's free. How did you get free wine? Seeing that, I have got a bottle of gin, pink gin, in the cupboard and a... Uh, a bottle of champagne from my 40th still. Right, so I'm just this week just using this little cluster of stars and I think that's quite cute. Let me do another one down here. It's just simple stamping I'm trying to um, show you today. And I mean it's good because if you have the, the inks and the stamp sets but maybe can't afford to buy the paper that month or what have you, then this is an alternative for your card, so. So that's that. Right, so let me just um, close up my inks a wee second. See what I mean? I get it all over now. I'm going to have to quickly grab a cloth. Right, I've got a cloth. I've got a cloth, I've got a cloth. Ooh. Definitely be going in the bath now. <laughs> right. That's me fingers clean. Right, so let's get the same stamper out of the way. And what I need before I add here, um, I'm going to do this card first. I'm going to round the corners with the envelope punch board. And then I'm also going to round the corners of the card. I love this. I love the punch board. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Right, not boring at all. I love this kind of thing. <laughs> oh, it gives me something to do. It keeps me out of trouble, eh, Caroline? It keeps me out of trouble. <coughs> yeah, I lay in the background papers are lovely if you're stamping them um, by yourself. Oh, yeah. There we go. So let me shimmy that rubbish out of the way. There we go. Right, so I'm just basically going to adhere that to the card front. It's going to be a long ways card. Um, horizontal. Um, right, so I need my Tombow glue. How cute is it though? It's nice. I mean, you look at... When I, well, I used to look at a stamp set like that and think, oh. What am I going to do with all those floral images and whatnot? But I'm getting there and I'm learning to love them more. Cards don't need to be all cuteness and sweet and princessy and unicorny all the time. They can be nice and natural. Right, so there's a card front. Now I am going to yours. A bit of wisp of white, and I need to cut this down for the banner layer. Can you cut that down to two inches? Make sure your inks are out the way. The amount of times I've um, sat my cardstock actually on top of an ink pad and then ruined it. I'm like, ah, how annoying. Right, so let me get my triple banner punch. This is awesome, it's got three. Um, Banner sizes, an inch and then an inch and a half and two inches. 
So this is a two inch banner that I'm doing. You just push it right in as far as it can go and punch and there you go, that's what you get. Look at me, I'm covered in ink. Goodness me. Right, and then I want to adhere that to a bit of mossy meadow. Now I'm just going to let me see what that scrap bit do. Yeah, I'm not going to cut another bit and waste it. What I'm going to do first though is I'm going to stamp the sentiment on there. Now I'm going to use a biscuit, crumb cake, sorry, not biscuit. It's because I'm hungry. Um, if I can find it. Oh, there it is, right in front of me. Now I'm going to use the sentiment out of the other celebration item. That's um, now free. This one's free with a um, £45 purchase. The other stamp set, you do get a coordinating DSP pack with it, which is fab. I've not used that yet. Right, so I have picked the sentiment. Uh, better let you see it, won't I? This one. You're pretty much the best ever. And there is... I love the little heart here as well that I'm going to add in. So I'll leave them out like so. Make sure it's the right way around, guys. Now you can line up your banner on your um, grid paper or your stamparatus just to make sure it's straight and it's a, quite a good guide without having to stick it down. Oh, that's nice. Lovely. Right, where did I put my cloth now? I'll give that a wee clean quickly, put it back. Now for a wee heart, I'm going to use... Hey, what shall I use? I think I'll use the... Um, ba -ba 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 -ba, mossy Meadow. It's my favourite colour of green at the moment, moment with stamping up. And like you, you can see, the catch looks lovely too. There we go. So I'm just going to randomly dot these about. Two is enough, I think. Yep, that'll do. And always put your stamps away, pretty much straight away, or you'll lose them like I have <laughs> plenty of times. Right, so there we go. So that's the sentiment layer stamped. Give it a wee second to dry, although it's pretty, pretty quick. And just add some weight glue, like so. Then I'm going to keep this border as thin as possible, just so I can actually make sure it's fitting on there. Right, scissors. You could use the um, for the stamping layer. You could use a smaller um, setting on the punch. But I like the, um, I like to go big. I just got these same um, Stampin' Up snips, they're, they're fabulous. I love it, I love it. Right, now this is an awkward one because it's a different view. There we go, is that nice? I like it, I like it. Yep, brilliant. Right, now, um, I need some embellishments, and I think for a card like this, you you want to keep it um, not too jazzle-dazzle, so I am going to use these um, frosted epoxy droplets, so let me get my poker tool, I'm going to put these on first. And again, I'm just going to randomly add them. I'm going to use the um, medium size ones though. And I'm just going to pop them on like that. I've used these a lot and they seem to just go on forever and ever, the, the actual pack. Right, so that's that done. And I want to now stick it down with me dimensionals. Seconds to dry. Yeah, you're right. You're right. 
It's really good. The only one that I find um, that you need to leave to dry is um, the actual Whisper White one. That's the only one I've had smudge on me out of all, out of all the stamps. Uh, the ink, sorry. Um, let me see. Oops, I think that looks better now, Trisha, show me. I know, it's, it's nice when you, when, you, when you do the stamping. I wasn't too keen on it neither. Um, but when you're being a business demonstrator, you need to kind of think out the box. You've got to think and buy the products that other people would want to buy off you. So, um, but it's all learning as well. Teach you out your comfort zone, that's for sure. Right, so I'm just, uh, I've put quite a few <laughs> dimensionals on here. Normally I don't put as much as that if it's a sample card. Right. Whoops. These are great. Now you could have the card like this, but it would be overlapping. So I'm just going to keep it as a side one. And where you position it, it's up to you. My previous card, this one, is down there. So I think I'm just going to pop this right bang in the middle. I need to stand up to see if it's straight. Yeah. How cool is that? Nice, isn't it? So, um, my mum and um, my husband's mum, um, we've got enough cards to give them about ten each this Mother's Day, so um, <laughs> I think I need to stop making... Mother's Day themed cards. Right, I'm going to move on to the next one. Now, I'm not going to use the Whisper White as a background stock, a eh, card stock. I want to see if I've got a, a dark one in here. It's mixed colours. You know what, I think I'll go with, let me see, I have got uh, basic grey. I think I'll use that as a card base because grey goes really well with these these colours as well yep that'll do, that'll do right, I'm going to cut up another piece so 4 by ones the card size by 11.5 before it's scored Yeah, the white's definitely a thicker pigment. The normal Whisper White's just a little bit, not enough um, GSM in it, or whatever you call it. <laughs> it's not thick enough, basically. Right, so there's my need, me grey card base. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to um, layer this on. As a little panel, yeah. So let me cut this again. Now the card's four point one, so if I cut this at about three inches, that'll give me um, plenty of room to put a sentiment on the actual card base. Now you could keep this wee bit and do something else with it if you're making a chunk of cards. Right, and I am just going to stick it there, um, and I'm going to get a sentiment and put it up there. What well, though no, I do not know as yet, but let me stick this down. I'm not rounding the corners of this one. I want it to look sharper just because of the panel being on it. Um the acorn stamp. The acorn's cool. Pine cone. You mean a pie? I always call it a, an acorn as well, Karen. I'm sure it's a pine cone. I'm maybe totally wrong. <laughs> I'm not very good with my, my seeds. Right, so that's on there and that looks alright with the grey. Now what I'm going to do is I'll get my Whisper White stamping pad. Tidy this rubbish out the road. Um, and I need a sentiment that's long, so just let me see, maybe... Maybe I should use one from the needle and thread. It just says friend. 
Yeah, I'll do that. No point in thinking about stuff too much. Because then I'll never get it done. You know what? I'm going to use thank you and friend. Now, I'll use my stamping platform for this. So that I get it right. <laughs> yeah, Karen, I can't believe I actually saw you when you guys broke down on the E92 that other week. I just can't believe, I was like, oh my God, look at that man and woman. They've broken down and it was freezing that day. And then uh, later on I see your message to say um, that you broke down. <laughs> what a small world. Small world. Right, I've just um, secured this on the stamparatus. And I am just going to position my stamps. These are really sticky. Sometimes I need to use a, a pokey tool to manipulate them a little bit. Right, I'm going to put the friend there. Right, I'm going to do the friend first and then I'll put the thank you. Will that fit in there though? Yeah, it will. So you just want to line it up. Fold over your lid. Let me turn it around so you can see it. And then, it was freezing cold, it's a small world, I know. That A92 is absolutely ridiculous. The amount of people that undertake me when I'm already doing the um, the speed limit, or even slightly over, and they have no patience. No wonder there's crashes all the time, eh? Right, now, I've stamped a uh, friend... Um, in white. Now I'm just going to waft that about a wee bit because like I say this one is the only one I think needs a few seconds to dry. While I do that I'll see what you guys are actually seeing on this chat. Lives are good aren't they? Have you done many lives Karen? You've got your own page as well. How many people still on for? Thanks for sticking round. Try not to be too much longer. But half an hour's not bad for a couple of card makes. Right, I think that's dry. I he keep having to stand up to see if it's staying in the shot. Right, so. Now, if you wanted, you could emboss this on. And set it with a heat tool or whatever but for today I'll just stick to the basics so let me turn that round so that's that inked up oh you think I was looking at a baby the way I look at my cards oh that's nice <laughs> fun's in having fun it sure does, Rachel. It sure does. Right, so. I mean, that's really, really simple stamping. Really. Um, so, if, you, if you're in board tonight, get yourself your stamp sets out and get, get your groove on and get some stamping done. Right, now last bit for this one. Nearly there, guys, is, again, I'm going to use these epoxy frost, frosted, um, oh, someone's getting around, frosted epoxy droplets, like that. Oh no, that's too big, I don't like that. Let me just uh, recycle that back onto my sheet. Um, I'll just use some little ones, like so. God, I've got ankle in my fingers and everything. Yeah, I'm just going to shove them anywhere. And that'll be that. 
Oh, my dad's trying to phone me now. Right, that is it. All done. So I'll just quickly show you the cards again. Both using that lovely stamp set, Painted Seasons. So I hope you had fun. I have to go because I've got to see a man about a dog, okay? But thanks for watching and I'll see you later. Ciao.